AITA for not having my niece be the flower girl at wedding? I am not OOP. OOP is you, token be friend. She posted in R, am I the asshole? I added paragraphs for readability. Your daily fun fact to prevent spoilers. You, Harmony requested Pink River Dolphins. Pink River Dolphins have hair on their snouts to help them find food at the bottom of the river. They come in every shade of pink and are even capable of blushing when they are excited. They can also turn their necks 180 degrees. Unlike their ocean-dwelling distant relatives. Trigger warnings. Homophobia. Internalized homophobia. Less than. Mood spoiler. Actually sweet. Less than. Original post. August 25th. 2020. I am bi. Hence the name. I am a woman. The person I am engaged to is also a woman. This is relevant because my sister, Amanda, hates both things. She and her husband, John, are both homophobic. So during the process of planning our wedding party for our wedding next May, the idea of having my niece be the flower girl was never even brought up. Instead, we pretty quickly chose my fiancé's little cousin for that role. My sister found out that her daughter isn't going to be the flower girl and is absolutely livid about it. She insisted that my fiancé, Jane, had forced me to choose her cousin over my niece. That my niece was the obvious choice and I should change it. You may say, why not just have two flower girls? Well, I suggested that as a compromise to Amanda but she hates that idea too. The main issue I have with making my niece the flower girl is that I can't be sure she will even be there. To be honest, I didn't even know until recently if they would even come to the wedding at all. Still not sure honestly, their tolerance levels fluctuate on who they've been around. And even if they did, I would have assumed they wouldn't want their daughter a part of it. Who knows if everything will be fine leading up to the wedding and then the day of Amanda and John. Decide to be homophobic? I know I sure don't. Somehow. My sister has gotten my parents on her side and my mom says I'm being bitter because I wasn't. Invited to my sister's wedding. I'm pretty sure that that's not it. Though I was hurt at the time to not be invited. Part of me still is. But I don't think I would try to punish my niece over it. Which seems to be what my mom is trying to imply. Relevant comments. Was your mom against two flower girls? Oh, no. Sorry my mom thought the two flower girl option was fine. But, she adores my niece. Which is fair. I do too. So I know that her bias has at least some part to do with her siding with my sis. And to be fair. My mom also was upset about me not getting invited to my sister's wedding. More about sis. IDK. I didn't come out until I was 20 and she was my best friend up to that point. Like I said, their tolerance fluctuates. Some days are better. It's been almost 10 years and I just got used to it I guess. It helps that no one else in my family is the same way. But I also hope she stops being that way someday. Quote. Oop is voted NTA. Update post. February 15, 2023. 2.5 years later. Hello everyone. A few years ago I posted this here on AITA. About my sister making a fuss about my niece not being the flower girl at my wedding. No one has asked for it. But I wanted to share this update anyway. Because you guys really helped out a lot. So I took a few people's advice about having both my niece and my then fiancés. Now wife's cousin being the flower girl without letting my sister know there would be two. The day of the wedding and only my sister and niece showed up. Bill was nowhere to be seen. My sister was a little surprised about the two flower girls. But then surprised me even more by talking about how having two was such a cute idea. My sister was super sweet all through the reception. And I felt like I had my old sister back. Which was so 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 nice. We had a chance to talk in a way that we hadn't in years. 
And we spent a little time going over the whole flower girl thing. And my sister was embarrassed and apologized. Without getting too much into things. My sister left my brother a few months after our wedding. And she confided in me that part of her decision came from seeing how differently my wife interacted with me and our family members when compared to her husband. Basically, XBIL was not a good person to my sister. An understatement. And she is so much happier now. She's like she was at the reception like my old sister who is full of life and caring and sweet. And an absolute awesome mom. But the biggest reason why I wanted to share this update was because my sister and I have had a lot of long talks since the wedding and the whole flower girl ordeal. All of it stemmed from my ex-BIL and his ahishness. He did plan on causing a scene by not allowing my sister or my niece come to the wedding. Apparently it was like a three-hour fight before my sister was able to leave for the ceremony. The biggest surprise came when we had a long talk after her divorce started. Me my sister and my wife. And my sister kept asking a lot of questions. Most of them centered around us being women who are bi or attracted to women. The next night my sister came out as bi to the both of us. Three weeks after that, without knowing our sister came out. Our younger brother came out to the family as Pan. Anyway. I just wanted to thank everyone for their advice and their kind words. I have my best friend and sister back. I am so very happily married to the most awesome woman in the world. And I get to go with my best friend, my awesome wife, and our super cool pan brother to pride this year. Things get better. And it's okay to give people you love a chance. Relevant comments. More about sis and her ex and sis not inviting her to the wedding. That's still an ouch area for us. But 100% because of the influence of ex for the no invite. I'll probably be mo at the next one lol. On a serious note, from our discussions afterwards, there was a lot of internalized homophobia that developed when she was first questioning. It got worse over time. I think my own coming out actually triggered it to get worse and then she met her now ex and he really did make it exponentially worse because he would feed into those internalized feelings and make her feel worse and worse. And part of her own actions and words were, I'm sure, to play into the narrative that her ex established. It kept the peace at home, behind closed doors. And he got into her head so bad she probably started believing it herself at some point. Has sis apologized for leaving you out of her wedding? Yes. She has there was a lot of painful discussions and healing that I chose to leave out of the update. For the sake of brevity. Maybe I scapegoat my ex-BIL for things that I know my sister did participate in. But again, without getting into it too much because it is her story to tell and not mine. He got in her head and changed some wires. Fear and manipulation and control can make you do some crazy things. And that man had a way of instilling fear and manipulation and terrible control over her. I only wish that she hadn't had to live like that for as long as she did. And thank you. I am so very happy to have her back less than three. Comment from Oop to another bi woman with a homophobic family. Sending all the hugs. I think people have an amazing capacity to change they don't always. But they have it. I don't know your situation with your family. But I am assuming you love them like I loved my sister when she was going through her homophobic phase. Which we joke about it being now. I got a lot of advice to cut her off or to not invite her at all. And I appreciated that because I knew they were looking out for me. But I knew that somewhere deep down my sister was still the same person she was when she had been. My best friend. It took years for her to get out of the toxic pit she had been in. But she got out. I like to think she would have even without me around. But some days I think she wouldn't have if I cut her off. It would have fed into the lies of her ex and the lies her own brain was telling her. I hope your family are able to see through the lies of hate and fear someday as well. 
wishing you and your gal pal winking face all the best and thank you so much quote one more once my sister came out to the rest of the family it felt a little like that spider-man meme with me her and our brother pointing at each other lol we are now side-eyeing the other two siblings but not everybody can be cool smirk sparkling heart white flag rainbow without getting too much into things my sister left my brother a few months after our wedding this typo really confused me and had me thinking things really took a turn in the story somewhere there is a very angry little man ranting to anyone who will listen about his evil sill that stole his wife and turned the whole frickin family gay alex jones could only imagine a rare happy ending on boru going to bed now so i don't jinx it loudly crying once my sister came out to the rest of the family it felt a little like that spider-man meme with me her and our brother pointing at each other lol ilmao when i read that but honestly a happy update this is one way abusers successfully isolate their victims they manipulate the victim into thinking it was their choice that last update was amazing lol you get a gay you get a gay everybody gets a gay rainbow it's wonderful to hear that not only did oop get a to marry the love of her life but b got her sister back and c her sister ended an unhealthy relationship and found her true self 10 out of 10 for wholesomeness is someone chopping onions because my vision is going blurry i kinda understand the sister's thought process you'd be surprised how easy it is for bigots to turn bisexual people into bigots it's mostly due to the it's a choice narrative well that was an all-around pleasant and happy ending for once i'm glad the family was able to rid itself of a hateful controlling parasite welcome a new family member in expel's place and a few people even found the courage to be their true selves kudos all of my dad's kids are somewhere in the lgbtq spectrum and all of my stepdad's kids are either bi or lesbian it's a funny thing honestly i'm glad oop's sister got away from her abusive ex and was able to learn more about who she is i'm especially glad that this was a wholesome story i just went on a deep dive through the last few days of content i've missed and desperately needed a happy ending what are the odds an entire family is gay though it's the gaydy bunch now rainbow is this family's last name flintstone because they're having a gay old time I feel like the blame was squarely put on the ex -beal. But did your sister take responsibility for her part in all of it? She's a grown adult. So why did she allow him to do that? Well at the end of it, it was a good outcome for everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.